So my urban stem plants came today. When I bought my apartment almost two years ago, I always wanted to turn it into an urban jungle. I had big ideas on how to furnish my apartment, hang lots of plants up, and finally buy nice furniture. But to this date, I'm still picking up items off the street during every Alston Christmas. For those of you from Boston, you'll know what I'm talking about. Despite my secondhand furniture, I find my plant kits make my apartment feel homey and fresh. And it gives me an excuse to live out my Tarzan and Jane fantasy. So without further ado, let me introduce you guys to the newest members of the plant family, Darcy Lewis, Jimmy Wu, and Monica Rambo, which also happens to be some of my favorite characters from the show WandaVision. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I was confused for like the first six episodes and totally mind blown for the rest. The rest of the weekend started off with me cleaning and showing off my impeccable dance moves, then sitting down to do some editing. Since it was a great weekend, Jackie and I went on a road trip to the White Mountains. Pedro, are you ready for your hike? He's like, no, I want a nap. Here is a quick OOTD of Woodrow. His waterproof red boots are from Amazon and his gray fleece hoodie is from Petco. Are those like hiking shoes? Yeah. So they have better grip? Yeah, and I put spikes on them. Is it made specifically for those shoes? No, you just buy them and put them on. But how do you know if it'll fit? You just buy the size. Oh. On our hike, I updated Jackie on my YouTube life and told her according to the YouTube algorithm, 91% of my viewers are male. And from that, 60% are from India. I guess the boys from India must have a thing for me. Then I remembered this one time I went out with this Indian guy. I was so excited because one of my friend's husband is Indian and he is literally this perfect man. Even his grays look like highlights. So I decided I needed to find myself a man like her husband. And no joke, I found Indian Steve Jobs. So I was thrilled to tell her. I said, I'm going to marry him and convert to Hindu and have beautiful Chindian children. Well, during my first and only date with Indian Steve Jobs, we spend the entire time talking about how difficult it is to get a green card in America. So you can imagine the topics of discussion, although very relatable to the both of us, was also incredibly dry. The only thing he laughed at during dinner was when I told him how I imagined the immigration police would come and deport me and said, well, it would be like in Star Wars Episode 4 when the stormtroopers came and arrested Princess Leia. Yes, I'm Princess Leia. We arrived. Two hours later. Two hours later? Two hours exactly. At the Franconia waterfall. Not much is going on actually because- It's all frozen. <laughs> it's all frozen, but this is what it looks like. It's still pretty nice. Want some Cheetos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow! Oh my god, Nancy. Are you okay? Yes, it just every time I try to get up, I just slip down more. <laughs> Okay, good. Oh my God. 
so I didn't laugh. I'm sorry. Give me your hand. Okay. Don't fall to your right. <laughs> go off a cliff. <laughs> Is that good? Should we, should we add yeah, more pressure? Yeah, it looks good. That no, looks it good. Looks, I like it. Yeah, see? Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Why do you look so shy and awkward? <laughs> I thought they would um, do it like the other place where we have to toss it in a big bowl. No, but no, but some one of oh god, yeah, I'll be princess. Why do we have to have one princess? Because then someone has the prince can get the prince's power. Wait, why can't Ooh. why can't Toad become a prince? Yeah, why can't I be a prince? Or I don't know. Ball? This game is. Texas. This is so cool. Oh, uh, I can't see. Uh, my lenses are so dry. Oh god. Look at the moving back and oh, forth. Oh, All the excuses, you guys. Oh, I'm dead. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm gonna tie my mouth out so bad. We started on a really hard level, but to be fair, oh, this is really tough. I guess I'll try. I'm just gonna run. Come on, boy. You guys all look so the same. Oh, <laughs> For those of you that watch my vlogs, you guys probably know I have a lot of Asian friends. And lately, Asian hate crimes have gained national recognition. I can't help but feel so much rage and anger because so many people are losing loved ones to hate crimes. I know there's not much I can do to stop this, but I decided to start monthly donations to the AAPI to help raise awareness and support the families that have been affected. So in case you have never given a dog a bath, it can get very messy. Here is how I avoid getting soapy and wet in the process. I take a large composing bag, I cut out holes for my head, and then two more holes for my arms. Then I put it on like a raincoat. Ta da! Okay. So we all know owning a pet can cost a lot of money with its vet bills, food, and toys. Since more and more people are working from home, more pets are being adopted. According to a survey by Bank of America, 37% of Americans have adopted pets in the later half of 2020, which is also when I started investing in pet stocks. Some notable ones to mention are Chewy, which is an e-commerce shop for pet supplies. So think of it as the Amazon.com, but for animals. IDEX Laboratories is a corporation that provides diagnostic and information technology products to veterinarians to monitor and treat animals which are not just limited to house pets, but also extends to livestock on farms. Most pet stocks have continued to rise. According to market analysts, pet industry appears to be more resistant to economic shocks. I'm not a financial advisor, so please don't go buy a bunch of pet stocks. I'm just your typical millennial trying to retire early. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.